There's a lot going on today. The time now is, let me switch over to this Instagram live. The time now is uh, 6.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We live we in the building. We got Brandon in the building. Yeah, yeah. He can kiss my black ass today. Thanks. Because he's still leaving. Hey. Asshole you. Hey. You got the nerve to tell Daz that I was crying? No, no. It's not what I did. Daz said, <laughs> Daz said, why do you have Terrence crying? She said, why you got Terrence crying? I said, Terrence always cries. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> That's what she said. She's so, like, it's, it's all good, man. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So listen, man, a um, couple interesting things happened over the week. Um, I had the pleasure of just uh, relaxing down time with my daughter. Okay. Um, I went to a 50-year-old birthday party. This lady just turned 50 years old. Um, my cousin took me. That was fun. Right. Um, I got a lot of there's a lot of cougars. There was a cougar. It was yeah, cougars in the building. There was definitely a lot of cougars in there. Um, shout out to all the cougars in the building. Cougars um, love young money. Yeah, yeah, they do. But I <laughs> didn't do anything with that. Uh, <laughs> cougars, no, I'm cool. Um, so I just want to jump into today's topic. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's talk about one of the one things that people get hurt over. People are afraid of. People don't understand what it is. Okay. Love. Oh. Love, love, love. Mm -hmm. What's the natural feeling you get when you love somebody? The what natural is it? feeling? Like what allures you yeah, to yeah, a woman yeah. to have a chance? Yeah, yeah, just period. Like how do you know when you're in love? How do you know? Man. How do you know when you're in love? Man? You get you get them butterflies in your stomach. Uh, every time you see her, you just... You think about her all day long. You think like anything that you see makes you think of her. You sure that's what the love is? Well, listen, hold on. Or, or is it love that? All right, I'm listening. I'm sorry. Now, I, I'm saying. Well, all right. You want me to be asking things? No. 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 Right. You gotta understand, man. It's, okay. it's, it's, love is a very strong word. It is. It is. And we can't throw the word around like it's a piece of meat because when you tell somebody you love with them, it's very serious. Yeah. It means something. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a point where it's the, you know, <laughs> that's like saying. So let me tell you what I define what love is. Okay. If you get into a car accident mm -hmm. and you're in a wheelchair, and I have to spend the rest of my life taking care of you, that's true. That's yeah. love. Think about it. No, so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What voice is that? No, 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 no. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If you was messing around with somebody, you fell in love with them, and they came across your pleasure, would you still be in lines of being and being with them? It, it really depends. Depends on what? I'm talking about love. You should stay with them because you said you was in love with them. I, 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 damn on it. Damn. No, damn. What? There's such a thing as falling out of love with someone as well. Now, what if that person becomes an asshole because she's in the wheelchair and I'm like, well, shit, damn, I'm not used to love the person you used to be. But what happened if, you know, you're supposed to support and be there for them? But the most thing is this, you got to somewhat understand something here, man. Uh -huh. When you love somebody, I mean, you're saying yourself you're willing to stick by them no matter what. Facts. Right? Facts. That's love. That is love. But, but what? But you have times when people become... Talk, they, they become assholes. What if this person, because she's taking pain medication? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. I'm listening. Wait a minute. I am listening, man. <laughs> listening, go ahead. Say it. Now, now, Say it. now, come on, right, watch your man. Hold on. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, what if this person becomes addicted to painkillers and they just become, they become a junkie and I, I still have love for you? I'm, I'm, I, I might not love the person that you become. Now, somebody told me something very smart. Okay. I'm they said, they said when you love someone, they said, and they change over the years, you have to decide whether you can continue to love the person that they've become or you have to leave. Mm. It, was, it was something that was so smart for me. And, it, and they know it. And, and shout out to Ryder. Ryder said it. It was like confirmation because he said it like two days later. Okay. And it was like, damn. 
that's real shit. Do I and do I love the person that you've become? Fuck no. I'm leaving. Yes, I still love you. I have love for you. But I'm not in love with the person that you become. So don't say if somebody get hit by a car in a wheelchair and you got to stick through them through thick and thick. Let's break it down now. You got your stuff out the way. Okay. Now I'm about to do some real shit. What if, <laughs> what if they was like, you know what? They just happy the fact that you're there and even though they're in a wheelchair. Okay. They gain a little weight, whatever. You boosting their ego. You doing everything you can possible. And they all for it. Mm -hmm. They can't satisfy you. Mm. We have to make an agreement. Kobe. <laughs> but you're in love with him, though. That's all right. We'll still make an agreement. What's the agreement? I've got to be able to go get head. So I, I, I talked about this all the time. And I, I just think that. What do you mean you have to go get head? From somebody else? Yes. But she's in a wheelchair. I mean, if, you can't get head if she can't get that debt working like she's supposed to, I'm just saying. So you want to satisfy your needs. What happened if she was like, you know what, babe? I don't want to get that. I, I just really want you to just all to myself. Then what? What well, she don't know about her? Well, what you mean? You <laughs> said you in love. That is love. I still love you. Well, how? I'm in love with you. What type of love I'm trying not to hurt your damn feelings. You might as well do it while she's on her own two feet. So, so you mean to tell me she can't make, she, she's like, listen, I don't want you talking to nobody else but me, even though I'm in this wheelchair. You mean to tell me that you, eat, as a man, you want to step out and do what you have to do? Well, we're going to have to have a conversation, Terrence. So what happens if the conversation don't fall in your face? Then favor? that's what she don't know to her, Terrence. So you cheat on her anyway. You know I don't know. know. I won't cheat on her anyway. So why don't you just leave her alone? No. What do you mean? If you love her, then you just leave her alone. No. Why not? Because I don't want to leave her by herself in the wheelchair. But you Who won't push her? But <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. If you if you clearly tell me that you love somebody, then you you'll be more into you know their feelings. When you love somebody, you love them unconditionally, no matter what happens. All right, and that and that's what it's supposed to be. I, I'm playing devil's advocate. I know you are. I'm, I'm just being devil's advocate. advocate just because. Well, if you in a wheelchair, would you mind if she go ahead and get her rocks off? <laughs> so wait a minute. <laughs> You're contradicting yourself, good brother. No, I'm not. I mean, honestly, we had to have a conversation, and I mean, and we have to say, listen, you look, your stuff is not working down there. I need to go get. I need. To, I need to get my ass bust. No. And you're clearly not doing listen, it for no, me. No, what you're gonna buy is you're gonna buy that uh two hundred dollar dildo, and I'm gonna get this mouth pop. Where did she say? Where did she say she don't want to feel plastic no more? And then I'm gonna go get. I'll get uh, my penis sculpted. And, and 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 make it into something and, no, and, and, man, and what, you, you know they got the jaws that warm up and, and stuff. No. This is what I heard. I don't know. If she about. loves you, and if you say you don't want that done, you know she might do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now she's cheating on me, so now it's just cool. You're in a wheelchair. You can't satisfy her. But if it was the other way around, it was different. But what happened? I mean, she don't she don't love you. I mean, she loves you. She'll just go by and agree with what you're saying, right, Shane? I have no clue. See, see how hard this. See how hard this is. Love is a hard thing, and then you have to figure. It's out also a very vague term. Yeah, it, it covers. Vague. There's a lot of bases that cover the word of love. It is. It's this not is just what? romantic love. There's different kinds of love. Right. So I'm saying, okay, you can love. You can, do, do there's we, brotherly love. We live in. No, 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 no,
Yeah, yeah, I mean, you really might, but I mean, that might force that person to kill them. So, so, what, so what happens if you marry and that happens? I mean, it's safe for better or for worse. And mm-hmm. woman is for worse. We in the worst part. We in the worst phase now. Maybe it get better. I don't but know. they say in the marriage for uh, for for richer. What's the what's the balance? Richer or for worse. Yeah. For better or for worse. For right. better or for worse. Yeah. So that means that when you make those vows to God, whatever your religion is, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you made a commitment to God that you want to God on these rules. Yeah. So we so we got a call on her. All right. We got a call on. What's up, Carla? What's good with you? <laughs> I don't even know what that means, love don't love nobody. Can you please elaborate and tell me where you're from? This is Tammy, everybody. This is Tammy. I, this is no, 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 no. I want Tammy to say it. Oh. Tammy, who are you? Where are you from, Tammy? She can see you. Oh, hey, Tammy. Tammy, yeah. Huh? She waited. <laughs> Go ahead, Tammy. It's like a bad time. I'm in the middle of doing some hair here. Okay, alright, alright. Forget the hair part, okay? Can you please tell me, what do you mean love don't love me? Can you please explain that to me? Or do you have a boyfriend? Do you, you have said a, do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not. I've been single for seven years. Okay, let me, let me ask you a question. You're in a relationship, right? And y'all two madly in love. Oh, y'all keep saying, oh, babe. Oh, babe, this, babe. Oh, I love you. Ah. One night, he get in a car accident. He's in a wheelchair. Would you still be with him? Did you hear me? First of all, I can't hear you. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna roll around here. Alright, so hold on. If you was in a relationship, right? And it said, oh, babe, oh, I love you, I love you, and this and that. And one night you get in a car accident, and all of a sudden he's getting a wheelchair. Would you still be with him? It doesn't matter. You love him. You love him. I don't want to hear it. I don't care if it's five, six months, seven. Y'all had it all mapped out. Y'all was. See, there are stages to this love game. So tell me, what's the stages? There are stages to this love game. Tell me. I can't tell you right now because I'm not it. <laughs> no, see, you know what, Tammy? I love you, but you're full of shit right now because you still didn't answer my question. No, 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 no. You know what love is because you've been there before. Shoot me a number. Shoot me a number. And I'll let you know if I'm still in love with him. All right, I'll shoot you a number right now. A year. Hell to the no. Sorry, see you when I see you. Wow! <laughs> so you mean to tell me after a year you've been with this guy, he gets into an accident, he's in the wheelchair, y'all spend ample time together, you mean to tell me you're just going to leave him? It was strong. It was real strong. You made a bond. You said a lot to him to make him feel really good about himself. Huh? I ended up being with him, and um, I'm sorry that he got into an accident. My 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 bad, bro. Damn. So so you didn't really love him. You just love his company. But I just love his company. Yeah, that's it. She said, you just love you just love this company. You ain't really love him. You ain't love him, you just love his company. He might have just been a little piece. So if he was just a little piece, then why are you telling him that you love him then? Why what? Why'd you tell him that you love him then if he was just a little piece? <laughs> oh, oh, so now you're putting in the fact that I told you. Why are you spitting game? I probably lied to Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. So let me ask you a question. Three years. years? You've been with this man for three years. He gets into an accident. He's in a wheelchair. Y'all spend ample time together. Would you still be with him? Y'all supposed to get married, matter of fact. I'd probably stick around to a certain point. Mm. Why well, stick around at all then? But look, you're supposed to get married. Right, but you said you're going to stick around a certain point, but you're not going to stay around, though. So my question is to you was, what, my question was to you was, were you really in love? Were you really in love? So do you know what love is? 
Good question, right? We're going to come back on the other side of the TV show. We're going to get out of right now. Our final shots. Chris Brown. We're talking about love, ladies and gentlemen. Me, Brandon's in the building. We got Prince of Production on the way. Uh, we got uh, Shane the cameraman in the building. Shout out to everybody that's on Facebook, Instagram Live that's tuned in. We're talking about love. We're going to come back on the other side. Chris Brown, Fine China. Let's go. Radio, it's Terrence Henry Show. We live with full effect. Me in the building. Punching Productions is here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Set the line. Let's make it clear. Yeah. Yeah. We got my, one of my favorite um, guests in the building. Raheem is in the building. He is no stranger to being here. Actually, Raheem was actually one of my first guests um, to be on here, right? You and Sapphire. Yeah, you and Sapphire. Yeah. We go back. We, we go back. Actually, we go back to the first show. Right. And then you see where we come from. You know, mm -hmm. there we got the the glass and all of that. And, uh, it's beautiful. It's, really nice. it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And we have um, Miss, uh, I'm bad with names. Right? Naima. Yes, we have Miss Naima <laughs> in the building as well. Um, she's working on the project. Of course, call the corner boys. Um, I don't know when that's going to be out. Hopefully, it'll be soon. <laughs> I told Raheem, hey, listen, even if I just get like a walkthrough through the camera, <laughs> like just. Listen, it's, it's a lot of projects going on. Um, yeah. And I'm actually executive producer and producer for Punch and Productions as well. Okay. Um, so I'm working on, you know, some some upcoming music videos, which will be my first. Step. I've done TV, I've done film, but. Um, music videos when it's the first. That's gonna be dope. Yeah. That's gonna so. be dope. That's gonna be really dope. So we're talking about today's topic. We're talking about love. Alright. Um we actually had a guest that was on and I don't mean like grandma love and nothing like that. I mean relationship <laughs> love. Okay. We're talking about when you get involved in a relationship with somebody. What does that word truly mean? And do you stand by what you say? So we had one guest that came on. Um she said that um if they was together for more than a year, um and if the guy was in a wheelchair after the accident, she gotta she gotta roll. Mm -hmm. She gotta go. I Someone said. Someone actually said that? Yeah, she did. Uh, yeah. Well and she's being honest. Yeah, she's being honest. Some yeah, she's being honest. And I'm like, well, did you really love him? And then she got she she really paused there. Love is a very, very strong word, you know. Um I asked um Brandon if your loved one was cries or please drink, would you still be in love with him? He said that to come to an agreement. So he's talking about some like he wanna still get his rocks off. No, no, hold on, wait, let's let's what? be clear in New York. What? Say it how you say it how you ask. Why, what you mean, you man? He said she that person can't pleasure you anymore. And that's why I said that's what you can't get your rocks off. That's what I said. You no, know, is that's not always true. No. Because okay. there are plenty of other ways you can pleasure. Which is fine, but he uh, said he boy, don't matter. She, she said there's plenty of other ways. Now she's telling me. Yeah. No, so, um, I totally disagree. But what he no, because from what he said was this person cannot pleasure you anymore. Okay, well then we need to have a conversation. Right. Doesn't mean I don't love you, but, uh, and he said, now what if it happened, if I was the uh, paraplegic, right? Yeah, yeah, he was paraplegic. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you look funny by the way he was. I'm just saying, just put you somewhere on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> No, what do you want to show somewhere? Well, he said, you know, <laughs> if, it, if it was me, and I'm like, all right, well then, we, you know, we can have that talk. He was like, well, maybe she still wants to step out. No, I'll go. Listen, there is, like you said, you can't make her. You can't make her. What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it. You can't make it. Right. Hey, where you going? I, I'll roll over the damn foot. Don't play with me. <laughs> Shoot, don't play with me. <laughs> you just sitting me on the carpet, waiting for to get home or whatever. They just stop by. Who is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. I mean, I did this in the fridge. <laughs> okay, and now you need to make sure you make it clear on the station that this is no type of disrespect or making fun of no, 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 no means necessary. No, no, we're not because you know some people that are that are maybe a handicap went through that mm -hmm. in the series, and sometimes they probably even laugh at it. You're like, yo, this really did happen to me. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Like people do leave people because of a physical situation. Absolutely. You know, especially married people or whatever like that, you know, you tell somebody like, you know, for rich or for poor, for better or for worse, you better mean what you say. Right. You that's know, what makes love strong. That, that's what makes love strong. I mean, you can't just get married and say, you know, I'm getting married. I get, I'm not getting any older. I'm just going to lock it down. Right. No, no, no. Marry somebody because that's what you really genuinely feel in your heart. Mm -hmm. right. That is real. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people take a full advantage of that. Because when you go to the altar, you're telling God. Absolutely. These vows, 
Absolutely. You know, and that's why one of the reasons why maybe I'm not married yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it has to be genuine, truly real. Nah, you just, right. You're just an angry black man. <laughs> well, that too. You know, so, so what if I'm an angry black man? That's what they always say. But no, but it's true though. I mean, you can vouch for like him. You know, look, he. I'm not lying, am I? Nah, man. No, 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 man. You gotta really, truly feel like you. You know what I mean? You gotta wake up and change somebody's diaper and all like that. That's your, your life's changed. Yes. You went from being together with somebody on their own two feet to like got to watch somebody else physically, mentally, right. in your brain. Like, yo, do I really? Am I really, right. really prepared for this? It's serious. It really is. Yeah. It's, 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 but I tell you one thing, if you really that? truly love that person, then um, they mean the world to you, then you won't have no problem doing it for us. You won't have no problem. But you, you'd be surprised. I tell you I tell you a story. A guy I knew, um, saying no names, I want to put him out there. Um, he got paralyzed from the neck up. Ooh. Car flipped over, whatever the case may be. Um, got paralyzed. Ooh. Girl left him. He gained weight, whatever the case may be. She just left him. She couldn't do it. Wow. She couldn't do it. Because it was a lot. Now, imagine taking care of somebody from the neck up. That damn time. Yeah. Can't believe that. I mean, but you gotta understand, but this is what we gotta start defining what this truly means, man. Because I think a lot of people get. So, what does it mean? With love? Mm -hmm. You sticking by the person, boom, battle. Making it. Oh. That means oh. cheating everything. Cheating is nothing to me. I don't, I, don't, I don't condone it. I don't think it's real. No, this is what I'm saying to you. You see my face? I was no, like, no, I hate that side emoji no, 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 listen. No, no, listen to me. You can resolve issues when it comes to things like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, depending on what it is. Um, I'm not saying that it's, it's, it's real. It shouldn't happen. I'm not saying that. It's, it's totally wrong. But you can work your differences out at somewhere along the line. It depends on, it depends on who it is. I don't know if I need to touch on it. No, it, now, it depends on who it is and who you're with. Now, some people, out of respect, they can't deal with it, just have their sanity and their peace, right. they won't walk away. Right. You can respect somebody right. for that. But if you can work through it, then you can. You get what I'm saying? So, some it, people have. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, but can. I will say for myself, for mm -hmm. others, um, with, with, and I guess now I'm a lot older, I'm a lot wiser. Right. But... I, when someone cheats, of course, the situation alone was not something that either one of them, either the guy, the person that cheated, whether it was a female or male, of course, didn't want the significant other to know. Mm -hmm. But then when it's exposed, that one that got cheated on, it's like, it hurt. and they, in their mind, they didn't, wasn't planning on leaving a person, but it's like, you're stuck with this, like, are they going to do it again? Like, you know what I mean? And of course, the first thing is like, okay, I'm done. But really, they hard. Is you can't just turn off love like that. You can't just turn off wanting to be with someone like that. Yeah. However, the situation with that, it's like, okay, the guy apologizes. You know, you're trying to work it through, but it's always going to be in the back of her. I'm just going to say her because I, I know either or, just, what, but I want to just say her. But which I was talking to Raheem about this a couple of weeks ago. You know, you'll forgive him because. You just can't be without that person, and you want to trust that that person is never going to do it again. They realize how it was to possibly lose you, you know. But they say, I forgive you, and really they don't because as soon as you don't answer, are you with that bitch? Right. Yeah, excuse right. me. No, no, you fool. Oh, no, you fool. Oh, no, you oh, no, no. Okay. But, but, you, but because the whole thing is you want to have your sanity. Right. You want to have your sanity. Right. But then it becomes, it becomes almost... You, you become a prisoner in your own pain because it's the part of your heart that you want to still be with that person because you don't want to be without him. So you want to hope that he is not going to do it again. But, again, that creates more tension and more hate because then you're constantly arguing every time he leaves. You know, that's unhealthy. No trust. That's unhealthy. You know, I, I would say, I don't think it's impossible but I do think if that ever happens, give your time, give space for you. You know what I mean? Because I've seen people that do it. It, it, it becomes a mess. Like, so the reason why I ask that question and the reason why I say those things and cheat you can resolve it because it's, it's more or less those issues can resolve, like mm -hmm. you said. Either way you walk away or not, maybe come back to each other, maybe. Right. Okay. But when you deal with somewhat of a, a situation, like I was saying previously before,
that's when he will get. That's when he gets tested. Mm. That's mm. when you really find out. See, see, cheating is like for guys. We women cheat. That's it. That's which I just said. That we, that's, 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 that's it. Holds everything else. <laughs> that's, 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 that's walk out the door. That's, that's, that's come on. Yeah, we're like, done. Like no, that's it. That's, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. Like, I've never yeah. cheated though. I have I, never yeah. ever. I'm not into that. I'm not into multiple you, you partners. Is, none of it. So for women, for women is more emotional. For like, guys, is more physical. I know. Because right. I have two brothers. I have to learn it. Like right. a lot of guys just because intimacy what, with no emotional connection. Because like, because the whole thing is, is that because we look at them is that okay? I'm just want the pleasure. Okay, you're in it for the pleasure aspect of it. She looks good. She got. She looks everything that I want. I just want it right now. Mm-hmm. You get when you're done. You can walk off. You can walk off because like, all right, well, I'm, she probably don't care about me. I don't care about her. It was just something physically I was just attracted to at the time. I can say the baby and go home. Right. But for women, when when they do it, there's some attachment there. Right. Even if it's just a little. Even if it's just a little. Not not like I want to be with her. Right. I had somebody right. where I was like. Maybe they've been funny. Made you feel good right. for a moment. And it was good. Right. And that was good. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. And then. You may have thought about them here and there, right. but you're still whoever you're with who you generally right. love. But from a man aspect of it, though, it's like we're looking at it like, yo, they did something to you. You opened them up. <laughs> you got pounded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What did you do? Because when it's emotional, it's like, what? you want to ask, like, well, what was it that you did like, right. you, like and, it, and it goes back in their mind like yo I know she's nasty did she like go to a level of nasty you never <laughs> seen that or oh, that oh, she, okay. she might come like a, yeah, <laughs> like, come and do something new you like yeah learn it when you was yeah, yeah, this yeah, nigga yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 women do that oh that is the who it's the worst it's oh pain. cause I've been cheating on it so yeah. I that is that you literally probably don't even sleep just thinking about what did he do, did he do? especially if did he do the hip motion? Like, yeah, the hip that, motion. That's why. Did he kiss her? Like, oh, yeah, did he kiss her? So right now he's just kissing me. Like, hold on. <laughs> it's, it's, ser- it's serious. It's serious. Because it's like, yo, can you go further in that knowing that these, the two couples have done something? Because what happened if y'all both did something? Like, yeah, I, I did yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Then y'all looking at each other like, okay. Right. I, but I wonder, like, is that something that what makes it easier for you two to get on it, like get over or get through it because it's like I don't feel like we both kind of did it where it's mm-hmm. you know what I mean like right. I don't know I don't know now, so what is it alright so now I'm asking all you men what is it that why is it that when a female cheats uh-huh. It's the end of the freaking world. I just told you. That, he that, pounded her. That mentally, we're thinking about every time. They, <laughs> every, time they, every time I see you, I see whoever this person is. Her legs were open. They were in the air dangling. Best man is the best way to describe it. I need to get this on my Instagram. Yo, look, best man, when he sat there at the altar and you sitting there thinking thing. about him smashing, that's exactly yeah. how I feel. I yo, ain't yo, yo, when her feet curl, like, did your feet curl? Did your, did your feet curl? Well, okay, so, but, but how did, like, okay, so now that's kind of being selfish because mm-hmm. when you cheated, I, I didn't. no, I'm just saying not you, I'm just saying that you, hypothetically, okay. so when you cheat, the girl has to imagine the same thing, yeah, but you yeah. beg for forgiveness. Well, women are strong, well, well, by nature, women are stronger in this sense than men are. We're kind of weak in the situation. We are. You are. But. No, no, we are. We are weak. To a certain degree. You let somebody have me. Oh. To a certain degree. Yeah. No, no, we are. We are weak. Like, when we find that out, it's like, the whole world is down. Now we don't trust nobody. Everybody gets right. <laughs> Everyone gets Everybody gets trained. You know what? You know what? That's not it. Yes, because I, I, I met someone like that. Women are more built to, um, to, to go through these situations or a lot more stronger. I have no idea which one it is. It's a long story. I'm, I'm looking at it. I couldn't even be able to tell you which Wi-Fi it is. Do you is. know the password? Nope. Nope. It's a long story. Well, that's you why. You say yes. You should have just said no. That's why we come in here with this. We come in with this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. on Xfinity. That's, that's all I know. Wi-Fi. I'm on the Xfinity Wi-Fi. Alone. But 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 yeah, man, we get hurt, man. It's like our it's like our heart gets dropped to our feet. And we don't know what to do. We were driving. Don't know like, where we going. Like like for me, it was like <laughs> like when I when I got you, I was like. Do it better than me? Like, wait a minute, hold on. What's the, what's the issue? 
right? Why, why, why would she even cheat? Yeah, like, why would she even cheat in the first place? She'll like, never tell you if it was good enough. She'll lie to you. She'll be like, yeah, it wasn't it was, uh-huh. it was nothing. No, you, you got, got something that's wrong. Well, you know, I'm in defense. I, I don't really necessarily say date because, I mean, if you're, like, cheating, then you guys are, like, in a relationship already. Mm-hmm. Um... Most of the time, it's like emotional disconnection. I've heard because I've never cheated, but I've heard. I mean, normally a female won't stay with a guy if it ain't good yeah. to a certain degree, what unless it? unless they're using them for other resources or something. What, like what, that. what resources they? No, I'm gonna have this aspect. What resources would they be? <laughs> for yeah, the hair, for Jake, money. Yeah. Okay. Stability, mm. especially depending on if they ever. If, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. a it. real woman mm-hmm. would not do that mm-hmm. because they would have her own, their own. I don't have to say sponsorship. I say y'all say right. Money. That's that's for women that 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 lacks whatever within themselves and and they use sponsorship is right. a very good term. Right. So, <laughs> but not real women. Like All right. So I went I went somewhere. I went to a party yesterday, yeah. and I saw you know guys there with their wives. And I was there, mm-hmm. you know, and I was with my cousin. I was by myself. My cousin, we both came by ourselves. Now, I can honestly tell you, we sitting there by myself, I will tell you a story that the one lady came over and she introduced herself, right? Mm-hmm. But the way she introduced herself, it was kind of like, hi, I don't know who you are, but it's nice to meet you. Was it like, get out? When she came over, it was like, ooh. Yeah, she was like, first of all, she leaned down and she was in my face. So I see how he looked and I'm like, hmm, she looked like she cheats on him a lot. Mm. <laughs> Maybe swingers. Yeah, yeah, because the way, so I'm sitting there and you know, like somebody, you see somebody looking at you at the peripheral. So the whole time I'm eating the, I'm eating the cake. She's like this the whole time. Like, you know, when girls put their finger in their mouth, they start, they start she thinking. Was she? Yeah, she was flirting. Oh. She was flirting. I she was tell. seducing you. She was a cougar. Yeah, she. Yeah, she was. I don't know what that was, but she was. She was definitely seducing, and I was just sitting here like eating the cake, like. That's all she came. So sterile. Yeah. That's the key point. You know, man, it's like it's a real touchy subject, man. It's like you know, marriage is very serious. I just feel like. So have you ever cheated? Who me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. I have. I committed. And what was your reason? I was 18 years old. And what was your reason? I was young. Huh? That was your reason? You were young? Yeah, I was young. I was 18. There's, uh, there's more to it. You know, I was 18 years old. That was the only time you ever cheated? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was 18 years old. So you just cheated because you were young? Yeah. What did she have that, 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 that your girlfriend did? What, at the time? Yeah. I don't know, man. It was a learning experience for me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You're 18 years old. I mean, you're still young. You know what I mean? You have to go through some. I agree. But you knew what was right and what was wrong. Huh? You knew what was right and what was wrong. At the time, I didn't care. I was 18 right. years old. Right. He was a kid. I I know. Know. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, I was 18 years old. I didn't know what was going on. I just saw another girl, and I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. <laughs> you know? I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> like that. I mean, all right. Shane, did you, have you ever cheated, Shane? No. No. Good for you. I'm going to leave everybody else. Good for you. Have you ever cheated? Huh? Have you ever cheated? Huh? What you say? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I was talking, I was talking Georgie. I'm sorry. Go <laughs> well, say it again. Have, have you ever cheated before? I got you. I plead the fifth. You plead the fifth. No, say it, girl. I, I got you. I got you. Know, you know, there's different ranges of cheating because they said conversation is cheating. No, you know, so, no, I'm you'll not be surprised. Cheating. You'll be surprised. We're talking about cheating, going out, taking a girl out when you're attracted to them. And talk smash them, them whatever. See, that's what I'm saying. Talking to them is cheating. Too. Looking at another girl is cheating. Don't talk behind your lover's back. That you that's, so that's what, so if it's your mm-hmm. that aspect That's the beginning it, stages, I should say. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, oh, I don't know. That's all stages. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's all, that's all, that's all, that's all that. stages. So you talk to that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> did you wave to her? Why did you wave to her? She, <laughs> she brought me back. She was going to wave. I I do believe it's it's, it's different types of level of cheating. It is. If if you're entertaining somebody, you know, um, whether it's at lunchtime, whatever the case may be, and if y'all are in a full commitment relationship, yeah, it's kind of somewhat cheating. Well, that depends on the conversation and and, and your intentions. It does. On either end. She cares nothing about that. That's the way that, I I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say this correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
because I don't want to offend anyone. No, no, I'm not offend anyone. No, I'm not offend anyone. I'm on Instagram right now. So what? I'm insecure women, I'm sorry. Keep it real. I'm insecure women. Okay, okay keep because, it real. I mean, or trust issues. If you trust your mate, I'm not going to say you can't talk to a female. Like, if y'all out, like, if, if it's not. Now, going out, making plans and shit? No. Making plans has to work, right? Right. But, but being I mean, cordial is okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, being but not firm. too. You know what I'm so saying? Now, that's but that's crazy because if, if my man is at work or at a business meeting, he's supposed to go like this, like... No. No. no he's not but to I, at the end of the day, if I'm with him, I'm going to be with him because I know he has a lot of respect for me. Right, so, right. until anything else changes. <laughs> so, but I don't... I, that's crazy. Now, what if he he sees a woman walking by and he sneaks a peek? Nah. No sneaking peek. No, men make up all the time. It's in your nature. I can say, don't look at me. You said you're If a girl walk, and I'm not gay. I appreciate it. But if a girl walk by, like, and she got her big booty, I'm like, damn. Right. You know, I don't know. And I didn't see your face. He's like, she said, damn. She said, damn. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? What you talking about? Who? Oh, yeah. Because before you say it, I, I gotta be skinny, I gotta be skinny running, running to the shower. No, we have time vision. vision. You we just can't, your eyes can't look this way. Let, let, me, tell you let me tell you something about me, and I shouldn't be saying this because this is my little secret. If I see somebody, I already have looked them to see if you look like. That's what women do. Yo, no, that's why I'm going to be down the road. I'd be like this. Everybody yeah, we know. We know. Yeah, we, 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 we know that y'all look. That's why we act like we on FaceTime, but really it's the camera with the radio on. Or do what Jack do. I go straight lazy out. Yeah. It's still right at the chest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just cross-sided. Like, <laughs> 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 so we gonna come back another side and we like to talk about. Here it is, man. Um, loyalty, Kendrick Lamar. Come back. Yeah. Okay, it's Daily Grind Radio. It's Terrence and we show. We back. We're full of fact. We got punching productions in the building. It's a lot going on. Yeah. And some of the stuff that we're talking about. We are talking about love mm-hmm. and why it's important. You know, to people not take fully advantage of it and really mean what they say, or when it comes to it, and what's the whole definition of it? You know, sometimes it comes into, you know, a situation where as though things may happen, you fall in love with a person, maybe an accident or somewhat, or if you cheat or any of those things, and you're kind of like, all right, was this really love? What is this? You know, what's going on? Let me ask you a question. People that's been married for 30 years. 40 years, because there's some out there. They stay together. Do you think between 30 and 40 years that nobody has stepped out? It depends on the person. And also, I feel like. Rarely ever. Back in the day. Think so? I mean, what I'm saying is, uh, rarely ever had. You heard of a 30, 40 year old marriage where no one has ever stepped out. Right. Really ever that. Right. So, okay. More than likely, yes. Some somebody somebody has tiptoed around. You know what I always say with couples Absolutely. from back in the day? What's that? I always feel like, you know, they are very private back then. Especially yeah, the you know what I'm saying? So I know for a fact it's been some stuff. We they had it from the kids. They don't want the kids to know. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I think it's more so like, you know, hush hush kinda you know, especially mm-hmm. the ones back that were married back in the day. I feel like there were probably a lot of things, but the kid we would just have never known. Right. But you have some. <laughs> I've I've met some that've been married for over sixty years, and they said they never, and they're still in love. So I don't know. Ah, sixty never did nothing. That's <laughs> <laughs> my old folks. I mean, just to say again, it made them understand that where right. they, they they just See, rather not talk it. about it. Right. They rather not. They but, keep it private. So right. Said, back then, they had a lot more responsibilities. Than so yeah. it wasn't always about the, the creep in the sheets. Right. You know, they, that's, what they want, that's what they want to be with, raise their kids and have right. more responsibility. Right. Now it's so loosey-goosey, everybody just, it is what it is. It's, right. There's an Instagram, there's a yes, Facebook, right. Right. there's a ChristianMingle.com. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Stop. 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 Christian Mingle. Christian Mingle. I never heard of that. Are you serious? It's really sorry. Christians go to make these little Christians. That's Christian Mingle. Wow, I didn't even know it was a 
didn't call Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. My, my girlfriend, the one I was telling you, that she had some stories, and I'm sorry, Mimi. I should have brought you here. I don't know what you're talking about. Call that. in. 205. Oh, hit him back. Call, call in, mate. 9925. Uh, okay, say it again. 205 909 9925. Yeah, call in, mate, because uh, she said no back then with a capitalization. She said they obeyed what the husband said. Mm. Preach! I'm sorry. Call Radio 215. What is it again? 909. 909. 9925. 9925. Call them me. That should have brought her because she got some stories. I, I, I mean, I, I heard some women tell me some things about how they did to the guys they uh, I've heard loved. Some and they were bad. I mean, I'm talking about sending videos. <laughs> videos. Yeah. That's that, 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 that gets you facts. Yeah, like, that's how it gets you in. Sit on things three o'clock in the morning, like, huh. yeah, couldn't breathe. Um, yeah, uh, they have it to my brother. Um, uh, he not in jail. He's deceased. He has someone in the summer. Yeah, that's a whole story about that. She's a hoe, tired, get up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Where's the shot? Where, where's the axe? Oh, where's the shot? They don't work right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, I said it. That's right. Yeah. I mean, that's what. Yeah. yeah, you can't. You can't. Um, yeah, because that was that was dirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like at your lowest point, it's like you weren't even his friend. Like you don't do that. No, you don't. Sorry. No, I, I think I think certain things, um, like stuff like that, you, you just don't. Do. Yeah, karma's but strong. but but, I'm a realist. Right. And I actually, I don't know if since a child I've always been a person that had intuition. And, <clears> oh, <throat> let, let me remind back about this shit. Okay, okay. Okay, so I remember he, you know, all his little girlfriends, he didn't choose them right. He always went, I don't know, like he had a good heart, good dude, provider the whole nine. I said, stop trying to. Meet these little West, not all because I'm from West. Okay, okay. Around the way chicks, you know what I'm saying? Right. And we all have done it. We chose women and men, and we didn't make the best choice. I, I admit that. Okay. And I felt like that was him. And then as a sister, we, sh we stopped, not over her, but this other girl, we stopped speaking. Oh. Why are you calling me? Give me the number. 215. <laughs> <laughs> 909. 909. Nine nine two five. Nine nine two five. There yes. you go. All right. So <clears throat> yeah. So with with this chick, um, she had a when I met her when he of, of officially introduced me to her, um, I said, damn, she looks familiar. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and I said, I said, you look familiar. That's crazy. Hit it, Shane. Hit it, Shane. Hold on. You on the Terrence Henry show? Who's speaking to, Carla? Hey, y'all speaking to me? I'm with the lady. Uh oh. <laughs> this is Tracy. Hi, Tracy. What's Hi, good, Tracy? Tracy? You on the Terrence Henry show? What's good with you? Say it again. I said, You on the Terrence Henry show? How are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're doing great. We're, we're hanging just, in there. We're, we're just talking about love and everything and. Cheating on, and how do you really know you really truly love somebody? Do you have a story for us that you want to <laughs> tell us? Let me, let me first. This is we can be cordial with this. Yeah, we are. This is just family. I should have brought her. I was just with her before I came. Okay. This is my best friend since kindergarten. Okay. So this is my dog. She's the crazy friend. Okay. Like literally, me and her are night and day, but I love her unconditionally. So, so, so Tracy, you crazy? <laughs> Oh, am I crazy? <laughs> I mean, that's what she said. She's she a she 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 light-skinned savage. Oh, <laughs> light-skinned. Uh-oh. Hi, Tracy. Crazy, psycho, panic, whatever else that comes along crazy. That's me. Oh, man. I'm crazy. I'm just saying. 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 I'm just well, I was just telling them about Tyo and the Y. Oh, I thought you were telling them about me. No, we oh, were. Wow. But you know what? Matter of fact, let let's. I'm. You know, his mind is a little deep. All right, go ahead, Tracy. Since you called and go ahead, I'll tell them about that situation after you. Go ahead. All right. So, 
But where do I begin? Okay. I've been with my husband for, let's see, 18 years now. I've been married for six. Out of 18 years, I have seven months of non-cheating from him. Seven. And that was the first seven. In these 18 years, he has four other children outside of the relationship. Mm. Yeah, mm. So come on. Let's, let's, I heard y'all say preach when I said about obey their husbands back then. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She's listening. You know, I am the um, perfect example of sticking around for the children, which no one should never, ever, ever do. Never. So, how do I begin? Um, <laughs> we were young, we were dating. He was, mm, I like guys with money, so y'all can read through the lines of what he was. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, she's a realist. She's no, no filter. Okay. She keeps it real. No, 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 we just listening. Go ahead so, continue. So, you know, you know what comes with money. Bitches come with money. And when you throwing out money to bitches, you know what you get and you can add. So now you got all these bitches wanting you to leave your pretty queen that sits at home and you're not doing it. So now they want to get to calling. They want to get to sending videos of oral sex. They want to do all that stuff. They want to start breaking the cards that he dropped that's in your name. We know that nigga ain't putting no cards in his name. So they just want me to know, you know, what they're doing. I'm going I'm to give you a little briefing. Um, I have... I have uh, 292 stitches going down my leg with a packing, bigger than, I want to say, a plum, where I kicked through a window, where my husband was inside of a car with a bitch, and I was getting in that car one way or the other. Wow. So, so you got your leg up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, pause. Listen. No, let finish, let finish, let finish. When I say I don't play, I don't play. I didn't go through all these years of him cheating, and doing this and this man for another bitch to reap the benefits of that money. No, that's my money. Mm. So we're going to get that. We're going to get this all out on the table. So let's say uh, 10 years down the line, I finally catch the little hoe and she pressed charges on me. Okay, so that's $10,000 out of his pocket to get me out of jail. Mm. Mm. So when I tell you I've been through it all with this guy, I've been through it all. Now he... Never, ever, ever left me. Ever. And never would. He's a cheater, yes. But he's a great provider. He made sure I had the best of anything. I mean, I was riding Range Rover bins. I had it all. Had it all. Nice houses. Kids was fine, by the way. I got five of them. And they all were great. All was fine. But, like I said, it comes with the cause. If you're going to stand there by their side, which is so damn stupid because you're miserable, even though you got all this money, because I had money out the ass, I could spend, 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 spend but I still wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. And that's what these girls are doing. They are accepting the fact that these men are messing with all these women and they're okay with it. And I'm here to tell them, do not, <laughs> I have two daughters of my own, do not do that. You will be miserable for the rest of your life. I'm already 18 years in. And by the way, I'm still with my husband to this day. Wow. To this day. He, he's, he's, and now that he's older, I'm he's trying to cool down. Say it again. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. No, I was saying he's chilling now. Yeah, it was, he, it, it he, was he's Trey, not, and I just want to intervene real quick. It actually kind of almost calls our friendship, too. Because I love her so much and I got so tired of her allowing him to treat her like that. It was to the point I was like, because situations like that, it would become physical. And she, when she go thousand, it don't matter what you say. And I'm just like, either you going to kill him or he going to kill you. That was always my biggest fear. I actually, I, I so-called try not to speak to her for a while. I was just like, I'm done. Like, I can't do this. I can't sit and watch you do this to yourself and keep allowing it. So it, it affected not only her, but it affected me because I love her so much. And I wanted the best for her. And I, I just didn't understand, like, 
husband and no husband is like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. She stood by me. Now, he must stood by me through a lot. Like I said, I've been through a lot. I stayed for a reason that I didn't have a mother. I didn't have a father. So when I, once I met my husband, it was like, okay, I got love. And when you got five children, you can't just go run to Naima house. Oh, we gonna come spend the night, me and him beefing or whatever. My kids will be sleeping on the floor, sleeping on somebody's couch. When I got a six bedroom home with three bathrooms, which that they wanna go home. So you you try to stick it out for the kids until they're grown. Now mind you not, now my kids are 25, 22, 21, 20, and 18. And I have seven grandchildren. Wow. Seven, I'm 40, I'm 40 years old. So, by the age of 21, I had all of my kids and I was done. So, that tells you a little bit about me. And again, like I said, money was everything to me. And I wasn't going to let nobody stand in between me and this money. Call it selfish, call it what you want, but I didn't have no family. So, I didn't have nothing. So, once I met him, it was like, oh, cheating. Oh, I got this, I got that. I ain't got to be out here robbing, stealing, fucking, sucking. I ain't got to be out here doing all that because now I got this. But, like I said, it's the worst, worst, worst decision ever to just stay and allow a man to treat you like shit. Mm. I don't want no one to go through that. But now, like I said, my husband is not in that life now. Now he's, you know, he got a job that didn't work. He got fired because he told them they were going to fuck him up and talk to him like that again. But, he's trying, he's trying, and I can see the change now that... The money is not a factor. Not blaming it on the money, but the money in the street life that that controls a big part of these guys and all this adultery and cheating and stuff that's going on. Cause you flashy, you making all this money, that attracts girls. Girls gonna give it up and how many men are gonna turn it down, honestly? So so let me ask, let, let, let me let me ask you a question. If if your husband didn't have the money and you met him, do you think that you would be in the same situation with him? Yes. My husband was broke when I met him. Okay. He was absolutely broke. He was standing on the corner making maybe three or four hundred dollars a, a day. That turned into, let's say, four million dollars in a matter of a year. Hmm. Lost it all. Lost it. When I say lost it all, lost it all. Because you know what happens when you're in that life, stuff goes down. Lost it all, got it back, now you lost it all again, and I'm still around. And like I said, if after four kids then I still stuck by him. He went to jail. The girl pressed charges on him, saying that he beat her up like she's psycho. I'm going to say her name. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> Make sure you edit that. I, I got it. Okay, I got thanks, it. Man. Four kids, she gave them all up for adoption. She has not near one of them because she thought he was leaving me. Uh, and he never did, so she gave them away. That's borderline slander. That's borderline slander. We can't do that. Yeah, yeah right. I can't, I can't, I can't even that. share this on the live. I can't even share this on the live. I don't even know if I can put this on my Facebook live. Yeah, now. after it's done. Thanks, we, Tracy. We got to filter a little bit, Trey. We are online. Yeah. Y'all are going to disconnect it because that's. Y'all better keep it real. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I would do I would have sit by him, yes. He's like I told you. He's a great person, provider. He just is a horrible boyfriend and husband. So after the first time so after the first time you caught him cheating, you didn't you didn't think to leave? I did not leave. I cracked his call a little bit. Oh, I wow. was But I never left. I never, I never left. Like I said, I didn't have any family. He was all that I had, and I met him at such an early age that, you know, I turned to him for the love that I didn't get from my mother and from my father. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have no one, and I've been living on my own since the age of 13. So when you find someone, and if they're taking care of you, and you think that they're loving you, you would do anything for them. And that's what I'm telling you about these girls today. When they think that they're in love, which they're not, they're just missing out on probably family mm -hmm. and, you know, not having it. They turn to men. That's how they become these little whores out here doing this, 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 that for money. Because they're just looking for love from someone. And once they find this person that's saying they love them, which we all know they really don't, 
But that in their mind is like, okay, he loves me. I'm going to be here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to stand by them for whatever reason there is. Right. All right. Thank you so much, Tracy, for calling in. We definitely appreciate that. I just felt like I was on an episode of Tempest. You're <laughs> Anytime. I, 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 Look, look, keep, keep the number. I don't know. You might be a regular caller. So I don't know. That draw hell of my interest. I was like, yeah, hey, wow. I know. I was just listening. I was like, this is like, huh? Wow. The window? Well, listen, we're going to come back on the Terrence Silver Show. We're going to get into some Kanye West. Y'all keep my number, too. Y'all can call me anytime. I got a conversation for every topic. I know that's right. <laughs> All right, Tracy. All right, I'll see you see? soon. We're going to go to a girl's trip tonight. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll see you later, babe. Okay, boo. <laughs> okay, we out here. We about to get into some Kanye West. Wow, man. Brandon, you been drunk? Yet? No. Yeah, whatever. We come back another side. <laughs> <laughs> it's Terrence Henry's show. We live full effect. We in the building, man. We are back, man. We had a lot of stuff we just talked about. We talked about love. We talked about people cheating. I mean, this is a very interesting topic. I mean, I got to the point they're going to ask me. Brandon will ask me, when's the last time you cheat? 18, man. 18. I don't believe you. Yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. But we got Punch and Productions. There's a lot of projects. Things is going on. Raheem, what's good, man? What, what? What's going on, man? Like I, I know last time you was here, we talked about um, Bad Seat Free. You had everybody here. It was like it was packed. The whole committee. Yeah, yeah. You had like, you like, it was like 25 people in there. Bottles was there. popping. We had, yeah. I don't know if it was bottles. There were bottles popping. Yes, there were. It was bottles? Yes. yes. I didn't see You it. don't remember. I know I don't remember. That's, Wait, the, that's the passionate party right there. Yeah. Well, well, bottles was popping. People was on top of chairs. I don't know what was going on. Party. But it was a lot. I still got the footage of that. <laughs> as far as what was going on. So what's going on now? What's, what's, what's coming in the future? Talk to me. Oh, wow. We got quite a few projects. Um, right now I'm working on a short uh, film called okay. Corner Boys. Okay. I'm directing. Uh, in fact, you will be in it soon. You was casted. Yeah, in, man. You know, so, you know, uh, we're gonna start shooting the film uh, in uh, September. That's true. Cool. The middle of September, so. Yeah, let, um, let me know what lines I gotta do, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for it. Absolutely. I'm ready. And uh, we're gonna go work on uh, another music video called Body Move. Mm. Um, starring Shiz Raw and Asia Sparks. Mm. Um, that's gonna be a pretty dope. I got some dope ideas. I'm trying to get out across the team and make some uh, unbelievable things happen. Okay. Because that's why I'm with screws. Right, of course. Anything I touch, I bruise. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know how you is when you come to the, uh, when you show, uh, the directing skills, man. It's not like I've been on set with you, so I know how passionate you are and how you want things done. Appreciate it. You know, you don't pretty much sugarcoat it. It's just, it's just, it's cut and dry with Raheem. People don't know it's cut and dry. I've seen it. Yeah. Right. So, um, so you got that going on. What else going on as far as with the corner boys? I know that they're starting production up in September. Right. And then you got the body move thing going on. Anything else besides that that's going on? Yeah, another music video entitled uh, Batman, starring uh, my man uh, Soul, mm -hmm. Shiz Raw, and Asia Sparks. Mm -hmm. So they're all playing different characters. Soul is playing Batman, Shiz Raw playing Robin, Asia Sparks playing Catwoman. So, Let me ask you a question. I don't, know, I don't even know if I was even actually, I mean, as long as I've been knowing you. Prince of Production, what are you planning on it being at five years? Five years? Five years. I'm going to say go five years. Five years. A um, distribution deal with a major um, parent company such as Sony, um, Lionsgate, New Line Cinema. Dish a distribution deal with a major, major uh, company so we can bring out our own films. Mm -hmm. I see it. Thank you. I see Appreciate it, man. You. I, you know, it's funny, man. As long as I've been knowing you, man, I, it, we've been through the hoops and hurdles. Even when you first were starting out with the... Uh, one of the projects, I'm not going to say because I don't know if you want me to say it right now. One of your, one of the scripts you already got. Okay, that's the long Live the King. Yeah, Long Live the King. Long, yeah, okay, Long Live the King, man. Like, like, I know for a fact that that movie's going to get done. Yes. I know it's going to get done. Because you've been, you've been, that movie's been done, what? That script's been, what, 2000? Oh, 2007. Seven. 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 It's only a matter of time. Yes. And I know that you're moving in the right direction for those things to happen. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely am Appreciate excited, it. you know, for that movie to come out soon. I mean, Creed ain't got nothing on it. I read the script. <laughs> I read the script. Ain't got nothing on uh, the long Thank you. I appreciate that. Not a problem, bro. Still looking for a dis distribution deal, you know, to let that one out. I don't want to let it out on just any avenue. Right. Um, exactly. I kind of want to, you know, um, use my platform uh, to make it as big as possible. Mm -hmm. you know, because I have the resources around me mm -hmm. to make it that big. So, yeah. 
Um, I plan on using my resources mm -hmm. um, and get out there on, the, on a bigger scale. Really? And you know, I have my executive producer here. Uh, hey, and, hey. Uh, <coughs> hey, wow, welcome to the team. team. <laughs> uh, to help me uh, initially with the uh, um, first Sapphire wave. Project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First name, Sapphire's project. Uh, um, Diva, can't speak the wrong diva. Right. I know I know we were in the in the process you was filming it. Exactly. We should film that. Yeah. Sapphire, your first radio we were your first guest on the radio show, so we filmed that. Yeah. And honor Sapphire. So that being said, I mean, is that project still going to get finished? I don't know if you got any footage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sapphire brought us together. Um I actually it's funny how I met Sap and Andrea. I was actually I was an intern at Fox Twenty Nine. Okay. And I produced my first one hour TV while I was an intern. I pitched something to Mike and he loved it. And um, I will also do things outside of Fox. Um, mm -hmm. Ryan, which was the senior web producer, he always wanted to be on camera. Mm -hmm. And my friend Serge, I don't know if you met Serge yet, he's a journalist for uh, Fox Chasing News. Um, okay. But he was my camera guy. He's now a journalist. Okay, cool. He actually said I inspired him to do journalism at the time. That's dope. But because um, I actually wanted to be a journalist at the time, but I found this new love for producing, and mm -hmm. that's what I kind of went on and started doing. But I had produced a um, a segment with the group Brotherly Love, the teenagers that Charlie Mack is uh, managing currently right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Brotherly, yeah Brotherly they. Love. Yeah. They were. They were actually opening up for Boys and Men at the Tropicana. Mm -hmm. So I have reached, at the time, I don't know if you ever met DJ, he is, DJ is a part of Bipolar, um, which their group is Wiz, Rico, and DJ, they are okay. music producer, writers. They had actually wrote the whole, well, they co-wrote with Timberland um, Empire 2, a season of music. Okay. And um, dope, <clears throat> you can tell the difference. No offense, Empire. Mm -hmm. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, you know, so what happened was I'd seen that DJ was in the studio working on the Empire music. And I was like, yo, you with Charlie Mack? I text him like, yo, I'm trying to, you know, pr you know, get this segment going. I would love to. I, I thought it was, it was amazing because Brotherly really Love, they remind me so much of Boys and Men, like the younger version of them. And to open up for them is was like dope. And it was like nothing but God sent because I was literally just like stalking me, just like who could I, what could I do, what could I do? And Lord behold, he was in the studio. He was like, "Yo, Charlie makes it. He would it. Go on right now." I'm like, "What?" So, and I ended up producing um, a segment with them, opening up at the Tropicana. It was so amazing, and my lovely sister Sap was there, um, Sap and Andrea, mm -hmm. and. Um, we literally connected to the hip ever since. You would have thought we were. Charlie was like, "You sure you ain't you ain't beat before this?" I mean, mm -hmm. we just clicked. Like right. it was just, we had the most amazing, amazing time, and we just never ever stopped. We became sisters, like literally. And we, me and her, are so much alike. And shout out to my uh, big sis Andrea with her new book before the empire. Mm -hmm. hey. But um, <laughs> and she's doing amazing That's things. True. Love you, sis. Um, but yeah, me and Sap and, and Andrew, we've just been tight ever since. And I'm like super supportive, you know, of Andrew as well. Um, and, and then of course I was able to meet my bro. Um, it's just funny because, you know, we both experienced the same thing. Sap would literally, when I was going through it with my brother, when he had his accident, it was on her birthday, which is ironic. Um, and you know, she was fighting cancer at the time, but she was there for me even through her situation. And then I met Rye and I met him and then they just became my family you know what I mean so I just feel like we both agree that they're both up there in heaven right now just like putting it all together you know what I'm saying because when me and Rye met we just met affected when we officially met was at her apartment when she had passed and we was getting everything yeah. together yeah. and you was like yo I want to work with you and I was like all right bet you know yeah. right so and then ever since then, me and Rai, it's just like, you see me, you see, like, that's my bro. And, like, it's, it's just so natural. Like, we both think the same, we want the same, we passionate, the grind the same. We literally are just, like, we, okay. we about to do some big things. And, and I just know it's through the grace of God, and I know it's our, our siblings that we both lost, you know. So, God is good. Amen. Yeah. God is good. Mm-hmm. God is good. So is it like a, a special trunk, a soundtrack along with that or something you're trying to get together for the diva? Oh yeah, we're really can't speak to the diva. Um definitely uh got my boys that's gonna contribute to that sound. 
you know, okay. Shizro, shout out to Shizro, Soul Killer, mm -hmm. uh, Soul Lex, Reese, AL, Sam Storm, a lot of people. You yeah, know, you got a lot of people. Asian Sparks, a lot of people, so go contribute, you know, to that. Did y'all, y'all too, y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Well, yeah. sure, man. Because I got a phone call and I was just like, yo, y'all be cool. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's like brother and sister fighting. But I'm glad. And also, I got one more project. What's that? Yeah. Not that um, I'm the type of person where I have to stay busy in order to keep from being depressed. You know, I got you. You know, to be honest with you, um, between projects, like I just wrapped up a, a music video a few weeks ago, and that time in between uh, wrapping up and finishing one project and that time to take to get to the next project, I'm depressed in the middle of all that. So to keep myself going, I have to keep writing, I have to keep thinking, I have to keep moving. And so <clears throat> it's like I'm, I'm running a bridge, a bridge is collapsing at my heels. So if I stop, I fall, mm -hmm. so I gotta keep running. Right. So with that being said, that's what I'm doing. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to the studio with uh, my man Solex, Shiz Raw, um, my man Soul Killer, and uh, I'm gonna lead and write an R&B album. Um, this upcoming fall and winter. I'm not singing nothing. I don't sing. I don't rap. I write. Mm -hmm. um, uh, although I'm considering myself a, 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 a music writer. Um, I've had some, we was talking about love, so I've had some pretty inter interesting, you know, love experiences, as you know, T, because me and you talking about Yeah, life. yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah we talk, yeah. <laughs> Jones is crazy. Right, so I'm going to bring in all my friends to help me with this, help me write this and produce this, and um, um, I uh, actually titled it Untimely Demise. Mm. Untimely Demise, it's going to be the name of the R&B album, and uh, I'm going to um, lead and write that. So... You know, that that sounds got some, some um, real interesting tracks in here. You know, uh, I developed a track called uh, No STDs um, that we're going to write about. Um, yeah, that's real, man. For, that's all fortunately for me, I've been tested. I've never had an STD in my life at all the time I've been um, taking tests. Um, that's good, man. That's good. It's a blessing. Blessings. Mm -hmm. yes, Blessings. Yes. Yeah. Wait, bro, bro, you say that kind of like. <laughs> where are you saying that? Same time you say <laughs> Well, then, what y'all ain't? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. good. Yeah. No, no, I ain't saying like, you said that's a blessing. The same time he said that's a blessing. Yeah, but that ain't bringing up the money. The way you reacted was, though, I'm just like, wait a minute. Something you want to tell us, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something you want to tell me about that? I'm good. I got more people on my life than you do. No, I'm, no, I'm good. <laughs> Shoot, all right. I'm, just, I'm good. Sure, bro. I'm good, man. Yeah, I'll check it. You know, make sure. Yeah. Go get tested. Make sure yeah, I've been tested. I'm good. <laughs> Me too. See, you, yeah. you, you, I was tested. I'm when, good. When, when did you test it? A month ago. Last <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and That's so, my bro, man. Yeah. <laughs> but go ahead, no, I'll finish up. We good, bro. I got some other um, interesting uh, titles in there. It's a sad day in Philadelphia. It's one of them. Uh, another title would be um, um, Two Girls, Three Kids, 11 Years. Mm. So that's the, the title of one of the songs. Um, I got another song called Love Me, Love Me Not. Um, you know, I got some, some pretty interesting. I got uh, a, 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 a title that I'm working on called uh, Mad Cause I Love You. You know, Stop the Bullshit. That's the blessing. You pretty much know what the album is going to be about. <laughs> you know, I, I, you text me like around 11, 12 o'clock. <laughs> you text me the list. Me too. You text me the list. Yeah, that's yeah. like, it's like 18 tracks that I'm okay. about. So it's touching on um, my different experiences in, in love. And that's been uh, two years, three kids, and 11 years. That's wow. That is. I'd like to be in the studio when this comes out. Absolutely. 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 No, Say it with your yeah. chest. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so you know that I keep a lot of projects lined up. Right. You know, so that depression, that depression stage, come to a minimum. Right. Right. And so that's you what keeps me. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's what keeps me sane. Do you ever think that you and your nephew will ever uh, come in and work and do some things together? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it's funny because he talks to me um, every so often when he do talk on the phone. He always say, "Yo, um, we gotta get you going. We gotta, we gotta get you going." I always let him know. I'm working. I've never stopped. Right. So my job is to stay ready, so I don't have to get ready. So right. when I'm this call, I already got the projects to show you. Mm -hmm. So um, my projects that I ain't working on is going to some um, very um, 
important people, I would say, are very important producers and you know people like that. It goes to. So I'm hoping for. Um, and who's your nephew? For people uh, that are watching. Okay, yes, my nephew. People that don't know is Hakeem from Empire. He goes by the name of Yes. His name is Brashia Gray. Uh, he plays Hakeem on Empire and he goes by uh, the rapper name Yes. I didn't was gonna say. I didn't know if I could. Do, I was just saying nephew. You know what I mean? I didn't know what was the guidelines and what's going on. So I just was just like. Oh, I have to say nephew. Let me say this too. That's his blood nephew, not the nigga little brother. Right, not the marriage. Not the nephew. No, like sister, brother. Right. Nephew. I always got to tell people that. Because you go out in the city and there's 15 cousins in here. I don't know every cook I've never seen your face. It's funny It's funny when, I, when, when, you, when you say things about your nephew. It's like, I remember this kid on your set. First video. First video set that you did. And I remember you using my car in the video. Uh, and he walked up and he was like, yeah, man, can I use your car in my video? Show me his raps and all that. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, man, you know, talk to your cut, I'm talking to your uncle. He'll let you know. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm looking, I'm like, well, goddamn. You don't need my car for shit now, man. I need my goddamn car. Can I use your car? <laughs> So, you know, it's, but, but that alone lets you know, man, when you got that drive and when you don't stop and you continue going, even when you feel like you don't want to mm, keep going, say it. It, 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 at some point it breaks. Breach, man. And I was telling myself, I was telling somebody. Yeah, me I, was, I was telling somebody the other night. I was telling somebody the other night. I was like, sometimes I feel like I got a blindfold on. Right. right? And I just feel like I'm just going through the tunnel. Mm. And I'm just touching stuff. And I know the light is at the end, right. but I'm going through on faith right now. Yeah. So I don't know where this is going. <laughs> so doing it, I know at some point. I got goosebumps. Yeah. 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 You want to shout? You can shout right now, people. I know, yeah. I know yo. I so, feel the same. You just feel it. Yeah. It's like indescribable. Like you just know so your breakthrough is about to happen. Like at any given time. Yeah. And I told you this before because right before I got the the. the the position at Fox, which was a great stepping stone. If it wasn't for Fox, I wouldn't even be producing. I didn't even have a desire to produce at all. Mm -hmm. I changed my career completely. I'm actually originally a hair and makeup artist as well, but I I had a great burst of energy and good feeling. I was like, something about to happen. I don't know what is about to happen. And Lord behold, I pitched this idea and it just was going on and I just my career was just and I was a, a PA at Kevin Hart movie when I say that 2015 was crazy but I stopped everything when my brother got hurt right but I'm a true believer man he you right into the test like I go hard I'm passionate about what I do mm -hmm. and I put God first you know what I'm saying but I know I know we all each and every one of us here right now Whatever it is that our heart desires, whatever we fighting for, whatever we grinding for, is going to happen just because how you, you know what I mean? Putting God first alone and then just like, just knowing it's there. Just like you said, don't stop. You can't. Okay. You cannot. Because first of all, I feel like any, any obstacles, any roadblocks, it's just preparing you for the greater. So you can be humble when it comes. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's all. And if you keep that in your mind, you will never stop. That's true. You will never stop. And it's going to happen. You know, some people, they just get discouraged. I remember one time I stopped. It wasn't radio. Right. But it was something in the project that I was working on. Right. And I looked back and I kept looking at the body of work I've done. Mm. And I realized, I asked myself, why did I stop? Because mm. you saw how good it was. Absolutely. You know, when you see how good something is, and you gotta start all over again. That's how I felt. Yeah. That's how I felt. With, remember, I was, mm -hmm. I was, I was literally, I felt a little depressed because, you know, in our in in our line of work, right. it's artistry. Mm -hmm. Whether if it's radio, entertainment, film, TV, whatever, it's artistry. And you have your mind, body, and spirit has to be right in order to cr be creative. And I'm sitting here. I, I was my last year at Temple, um, in my senior year. My brother won a ventilator. Wow. Fourteen months apart. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, and a mother, a single mother to be exact. So I'm like trying to be a mother, trying. I look like was by his side every, I would spend the night at the hospital. And I missed so, thank God, shout out to my professors at Temple. I didn't have to drop out. They was like, no, you need extensions or whatever the case may be. We got you. Just mm -hmm. whenever. So I'm trying to keep up, catch up, 
and stay up wow. and yeah, be like there that. emotionally for my brother be there emotionally for my child be emotionally for me like you know what i'm saying and then in the back of my mind i'm like yo my career was like shh and then it was like Doo. because creatively i could not connect because how could i do that and i'm like emotionally there from i'm dealing with all these things and i remember the shout out to serge too for being like my 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 rock because he kept saying like nah like he literally he interceded for a lot of it you know what i'm saying because god he was god given my friend for me at that time my, my brother in christ because mm -hmm. he literally was like i would just cry like oh my god i'm losing all my connects i'm losing all my networks that i built you know am i gonna be able to just come back you know come out and just do it all again and everything just start going that's that always played in my mind and he kept like like nah i'm not gonna let you give up i'm not and in my mind, I'm telling myself I'm not because I've come too far. Mm -hmm. And I had to stop and just be still and say, God, what, what's going on? Like, why can't I? You know what I mean? And he just told me to be still. You had faith in me before this happened. Had faith in me now that you just do what you got to do for your brother. Because at that time, I didn't know I was going to lose him. So right there, if, and in between being there for my friend said. So that's another thing. I had her. I, it was just so much. But Lord behold, he promised me and, and, and literally I came, like I, I got my mind right, you know, I, I buried, you know, rest in peace my brother, you know, I, I physically, mentally, emotionally, I healed from that and then boom, Raheem. God was testing the blood. Yes. And I like literally, and Corner Boys became an outlet for me. Mm -hmm. You know, when Carla came to me about it, it became an outlet to me. And I was going hard, nonstop. And it was like therapeutic for me because I'm back in my element. I'm back doing what I want to do. You know, and then like I said, and I got Barai, he just said, oh, and I was just like, I'm with it. Let's go. Right. But I, I put all that, like he said, not trying to, you know, avoid depression of losing a sibling. Like that's hard because... He's very close in age to his sister, and as I'm 14 months, he was like twins. You know what I'm saying? He drove me nuts sometimes, but that's my brother. Like you know, and I stuck there the whole year and lost him. And you know, it's it's and I, I have peace with it. But I'm just saying, it's like with all that I was going through, and for anyone out there that are struggling and going through obstacles, and and don't just put faith in him. If it's a law, if it's God, whoever you praise to. Just have faith and just don't stop because nine times out of ten is preparing you for what's about to come. And when I say it's about to come, like the stuff that's about to take on, we're punching in, just the whole nine. Y'all yeah. not ready. Yeah. Y'all not ready because God's God hands is all up in it. So yeah. if his hands up in it, it's like it's no possible way it's not going to go where it needs to go and beyond. Mm -hmm. So his hands is in it, and nobody's in it. Nope. Yeah, so that's like that. Amen. So his on. hands is in it, and nobody is in it. <laughs> I like that. We're going to come back on the other side of the territory show. This has really been a good show. I really mm -hmm. appreciate you guys coming in. I um, appreciate you having us, bro. Yeah, yeah, of course. Appreciate it. Always. Always, man. They know it's the best show in the world, aka the best show in the universe. Tell everybody that. They think, I'm crazy. Yes. they think I'm crazy for saying that, but I say, listen, I don't speak into in the twin existence. Who else will? Oh, you guys speaking, speaking in past You guys speaking in past tense. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. I, I speak everything. When you want something, don't yeah. listen. Don't even say hope. Hope is not even in my vocabulary. I go. speak it as it's already done. Mm. Period. Got don't it. say, oh, where, you know, I hope something. No. It's, even if it sounds weird. Our projects is going to blow. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to get distribu distribution deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to speak it as it already done and try to like practice that and just believe, not just say it, but believe it. Right. And when you believe it, it comes, I'm telling you, I'm a true example. That's a whole nother topic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I can tell you some stories, man. It works. So listen, we're going to pay, we're going we're gonna, to, I'm going to say pay some bills. We're going to pay some bills. Look, we're going <laughs> to get into some music and we're going to come back and we're going to close everything out. I'm gonna get into some drink, you know, like a little bit with hot, hot line bling. I don't know, I don't dance, but uh, Drake does. You get you dance. dance, I got videos. <laughs> videos you got. Yeah, I see the two already. You already know. You already know. Oh, alright. We're, we're gonna come back to the other side of the Terrence Show. Yeah.
Daily Grind Radio, it's the Terrence Henry Show. We live from the factory in the building, man. Punching Productions is here. We had a lot to talk yeah, about. Yeah, set the alarm, baby. Yeah, a lot of things went on, man. Really appreciate everybody that came in and talked about these stories, things that's going on. Really appreciate you two guys, man. Y'all really inspired me too as well. It's always. Thank you it's for always. having us. And hold, when I'm in Corner Boys, right, I just want to make sure, you know, I, I get it, you know. Come on, so ask now. You know I was on the cast at you, brother. Oh yeah, you did. You yes. did. You emailed me like three o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm so no. Listen, I, I, I don't sleep. Road. I don't I sleep. That's what I'm saying. I literally, I, I literally, I had a little break after our, our, our video that we just, right. which is we're we'll gonna talk about later. But I literally, I literally, I don't sleep. Like the grind never stops. When when I'm when I'm offset, I'm home answering emails and I'm, I'm you know what I mean. It just I'm not, I never. Stop. I responded though. <laughs> you did. I did apologize. I, I no, you was cool. I was like, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> you <were> straight. <laughs> I, I just feel like if I email, it's like you wake up in the morning, you'll see it kind of thing. First thing. But people was literally responding like, oh, you know, I'm like, I'm sorry, right. guys. I don't, I don't sleep. So, so listen, yeah. what are you about to look? Tell everybody the Instagram and everything. So we, because I want to go over to people's time for the next right. show. So well, you know what? I just want to um real quick, you know, get some what's up with the what's ups from uh, my team. I got Jack the Ripper. I got Dynamite, Mike. I got my cousin Lee. And they all part of the punching reduction team as well, so I just wanted to get them just a little what's yeah. up and what's up. Well, say what's up, y'all. It's your boy Jack the Ripper, what's up? I'm always right here. It is what it is. Leak the balls. What's going on? Yeah. Stein on Mike, Shabaka with Raheem, Lou Screws since 99. <laughs> Shut up. Right, since the late 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it wasn't out yet. <laughs> Okay, so Naima, executive producer, stage producer, and my Instagram is Naima, N I E M A, the producer, N I E M A T H E, producer. I'm sure you guys know how to spell that. Yep, that's my Instagram. Yeah, uh, this director Lou Screws here, and you can catch me on Instagram under two accounts L Screws. That's L. As in Larry Screws, S K R E W Z. And uh, my business page, Punching In, P U N C H I N I N. And on Facebook, Raheem New Screws Person. That's F U R. It's my personal one. <laughs> I use my, my business one for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are out, right, man. RSVP is up next. We will see you next Sunday. Once again, it's the Tampa Show. We'll you'll, 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 you'll see them next. <laughs> you know what? I know you're gonna be it's here. It's my last. Show. It's my last show, man. Yeah, it? yeah, I'm it's moving to Georgia. Oh my God! Oh my God! Wait, you're not gonna be your last show. I told him I'm gonna be his correspondent. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna be his. It's not his last show. He's he's full of shit. He's not. Such a hater, dude. Sorry. I'm gonna visit Georgia too be down there. It's, it's not your last show. Anyways, it's Terrence Henry Show. Um, the, best show <laughs> the best show in the world, aka the best show in the universe. We will see you next Sunday. Thank y'all for tuning in. We out. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Tim. Good night, guys.